This woman is ripping the skin off her feet. Under the skin is black human tissue. Half an hour later, she was back as good as new. She looked in the mirror and did a hot dance of satisfaction. Her face is still intact. She put on the mask. At that moment, twins came in downstairs. They hadn't seen their mother in a long time. They were very excited. They ran into their mom's room, but their mother was frowning in fear. This woman had her whole face wrapped in gauze. She was very creepy. The brothers wondered if this was their mother or not. She explained that she had had plastic surgery. She was still recovering slowly, seeing that her son was doubtful. She took out the toy she had prepared and gave them to her son. Her son happily accepted it. He gave his mother the painting he had drawn with his own hands. The woman took the painting and told her son, during the time she was recovering, they were not allowed to enter her bedroom or the barn outside. Elias was puzzled, but he agreed anyway. In the afternoon, they both ran into the wheat field. They were so happy. By the time they realized that they were running to the barn, Elias was curious. He went to the barn despite Lucas' resistance. He wanted to see what secrets were hidden inside. He went into the barn through the small window. He climbed up to the egg. Suddenly, he saw a bloody towel on a bucket next to him, and there was still a large blood stain on the wooden board above. He was so scared that he went back the way he came. He climbed out the window and his mother grabbed him. What were you doing in there? I gave you specific instructions stay where I could see you. Elias didn't expect their mother to be so angry, but the woman pushed him to the ground. She warned him not to go back into the barn. Elias covered his arm, which hurt from the fall. He looked incredulous. Was this cold person really their mother? When the two brothers returned home, their mother was normal again. Not only did she watch movies with them, she would also read them a story before bed. She didn't seem to differ from the mother they remembered. Elias settled down. In the middle of the night, Elias heard their mom on the phone downstairs. She was frantically complaining about how much longer she had to pretend. Suddenly the woman senses something different. She puts her phone away and goes to check. Elias rushed under the covers to pretend to sleep. He wasn't found. The next day he quietly tells Lucas about it. Lucas also thought their mother was acting strange. They sneak into the woman's room to look for clothes. The woman suddenly came back. Lucas escaped unscathed. And Elias was too late to escape. He hid behind the curtain. Through a crack in the curtain, he saw his mother dancing in front of the mirror. This strange behavior made him even more scared. Then he realized that his painting was in the trash. He didn't have time to be shocked. He saw the woman walking towards him. Elias hides. The woman saw the painting on the ground. She picks it up and tears it to pieces. Elias was stunned. How could this be the work of his own mother? He took the torn painting and showed it to Lucas. Lucas suspected that she was not their mother at all. So they secretly took a picture of the woman and compared it to their mother's old picture. They found that their eyes were different colors. Their mother's eyes were green while this woman's eyes were blue. This is enough to show that this woman is not their mother at all. So they immediately sent a message to their father. They hoped their dad would come to pick them up. They didn't expect. As soon as they sent the message to their dad, the woman burst into the room in a rage. Elias hid his phone under his pillow. He tucked under the covers and tried to pretend to sleep. But the woman had already come over. She lifted the covers and told them to hand over their phones. Looking at the furious woman, Elias was terrified. He handed over his phone. The woman grabbed the phone and walked towards the kitchen. He threw the phone into the sink in front of them. This is what happens when you don't tell the truth. They were terrified. They were afraid the woman would break in again. After Lucas fell asleep, Elias was still curious if the woman was their mother or not. So he sneaks into the woman's bedroom. He found her with a mask on. He suddenly had the audacity to lick the woman's mask. What are you doing? Elias was so scared that he didn't know what to do. He grabbed a jar and smashed it into the woman. As soon as the woman let go of her hand, he rushed back into the room and hid. Since the door was locked this time, the woman couldn't open it. She was so angry that she picked up the iron bar and started to smash the lock. You're not her mother. What did you say? These words ignited the woman's anger. She grabbed Elias and dragged him to the bathroom. She shut Lucas out of the door. After this night, Lucas decided to take Elias and run away. He woke Elias up before dawn. They fled in the rain. They walked for who knows how long. They found a house. They went to knock on the door but no one answered. They went inside. They found that no one had lived here for a long time. 
It was raining harder and harder outside. The brothers had to stay here first. That's when the patrol men found them and took them to the police station. They told the police everything. The police said they would find out the truth. Then they said they would be sent to a safe place. To their horror, the brothers found. The police sent them home again. At that moment, the woman also took off her hood. She now looked like a gentle mother. She waited anxiously in front of the house. Faced with the police questioning, she was calm and collected. She quickly let them go. But when she returned to her bedroom, she burst into tears. After she recovered, she took a sleeping pill and started to fall asleep. Little did she know. After the boys were arrested and found that the police could not help them, they decided to take the initiative. Early the next morning, as soon as the woman opened her eyes, she found herself tied to the bed by her son. They asked her where she had hidden their mother. She says she's their mother. Elias retorted with a photo. Their mother's eyes were green in the photo. And you are blue. How can you be our mother? The woman sounded amused. Elias, that's my headshot. I wear colored contacts for work. They're in my purse downstairs. Elias listens and rushes downstairs. Lucas said there was nothing in the bag. She is lying. Elias gets angry. He took the ice out of the freezer and put it in a bucket and threw it right at the woman. Where is she? How many ways do I have to say it? I'm right here, Elias. Seeing the woman say that she is their mother, Elias was furious. He pulled out the torn painting. He confronted her. If she was their mother, she would never have torn up the painting. Who the hell are you? The moment she saw the painting, the woman broke down and cried. You know this is me. Elias' heart softened. He was ready to let her go. At that moment, Lucas came up to him and urged him to go and not to listen to this woman. Elias hesitated but listened to Lucas. She taped her mouth shut. They waited for the bus on the side of the road with their luggage. But Elias was still worried about the woman. So he ran home under the pretext that he didn't have his toothbrush. He saw the woman's bag and he wanted to check it for himself. He found contacts inside. They were green in color. The woman was really their mother. He couldn't understand why Lucas had lied to him. Faced with Lucas coming after him, he tried to run upstairs to save their mother, but he was dragged by his feet again. He kicked Lucas away and continued upstairs. He finally locked Lucas out of the door after entering. His mind was filled with doubts, but he thought this woman might really be their mother, so he grabbed the scissors and cut the tape. He let go of his mother. Mommy. <laughs> Although he recognized their mother, but he was still confused. What the hell is going on here? He went downstairs with his mother. He found that there was no sign of Lucas downstairs. Lucas seemed to have vanished into thin air. His mother wasn't surprised. He took Elias by the hand and led him to the bar. The truth is in there. They went up to the attic. This time his mother didn't stop him. She led him to the bloody board. The firelight illuminated the bullet holes in the board. Elias finally remembered. This was once the brothers' secret base. But then there was an accident. He didn't know he was holding a real gun, and he shot Lucas. Lucas was killed instantly, and Elias never wanted to accept the truth. Spurred on by painful memories, he imagines a Lucas by his side. The brutal truth is revealed. Elias' emotions spiraled out of control. He pushed his mother out of the attic. By the time he reacted, his mother wasn't breathing, and the shattered oil lamp ignites the hay in the warehouse. The fire got bigger and bigger. Elias escaped and the entire barn burned to ashes under the fire. This time he lost his mother again. Unable to accept the reality, Elias once again had a fantasy. Their mother and Lucas appeared at his side. 